Welcome back to Hot Around. This is Moon Tort, and today we're going to give you the easiest way to mine Monero with the Vega 56s. I'm going to be answering some questions that a lot of people have been leaving down in the comments, and this should give you guys all the info you need to try and build a Vega mining rig by yourself. First thing I'm going to go over is the parts. Oh, hey, it's a little moon tort. Get the 56s or the 64s, it really doesn't matter. If you want a quieter card, you can get the liquid cooled, but that is gonna run you a lot more money. Next up, we have risers, so you need as many risers as you have cards. And any riser will work, just make sure you don't get the Molex connection down here. That's like the four, four pin, I think that's what they call it. Standard 120 gigabyte SSD over there. I don't know if you guys can see it, it's back there. 1050 watt power supply. In terms of power supplies, you wanna get a power supply with as many eight pin PCIe connectors as possible because the Vegas take two eight pins. So this one I believe is eight. Double check wherever you're shopping, Amazon, Newegg, Best Buy, to tell you how many eight pins there are. Next we have the motherboard. This is a Z270A motherboard. You can use the H110s, uh, the ASRock BTCs. I've seen someone running six on those, so I know they work. I just like the newer motherboards. That's just the LGA, I think it's 1511 socket. I'll link all these parts in the description so you guys can just click on it and look at it. This is only four gigs of DDR4 RAM. This rack, little power button cord, maybe zip ties. In terms of building it, we just have some zip ties right here. In another video on the Vega 64s, you can see that I used like hardware to secure these, but Zip ties will do just fine, especially when you have three on each. I mounted the motherboard with some zip ties. Make sure you use some non-conductive material if you're gonna mount it like this. Power supply is not secured, I just dropped it in there. And the rest is just like basic wire management, clicking in pieces. First thing you're gonna do is build the computer and don't connect any of the cards. You're just gonna be building a Windows computer. Make sure if you do want to run more than four Vega cards in the motherboard settings, you activate above 4G encoding. Once you have Windows 10 installed, so you don't want it to go to sleep, so you do that in power settings. There's a very important thing to do, type in performance. You'll see one that says, adjust the appearance and performance of window. You're gonna click that, go to advance, this virtual memory, you're gonna hit change. You'll uncheck this box, and at minimum you want 60,000 for initial, and you can put 60,000 for both. I believe I read somewhere that you need 8 to 16 gigabytes of this virtual memory per card. Hit apply. And then what you would do is turn the computer off, start plugging these in one by one. Attach the riser, power the riser, power the card, and plug it in. After starting it, you would go to device manager, and you're going to make sure that it's going to say Microsoft Basic Display Adapter. It'll say however many of those as you have cards. You also might have one if you're running the internal GPU on the Intel board. I do recommend running the internal GPU because uh, it doesn't mess with the hash rate of the Vegas as much. Once you have these three, you know, however many cards popping up here, you can install the blockchain drivers from It'll say August 23rd, I believe. So right there, August 23rd. You'll install that, restart it, and then you'll activate Wattman. So as you can see here, we have Wattman. 
and this is going to be the easiest way to get mining on Monero with higher hash rates without having to do power play, BIOS mod, anything like that. I'm going to set one of these just so you guys can see. I'm going to hit reset. For frequency, you're going to drag this all the way down to negative 30. I'm going to click manual on voltage just because just I like seeing the voltage. Frequency, so you can turn it up to, I believe, 920. So we can try that. 920. These Vegas need a lot of fan power to stay cool. I'm going to set that bottom at 3000. Power limit is going to be negative 20. And temp limit, I'm going to do 75 across. You should be able to minimize this. Right click the windows. Go to device manager and this is how you activate HBCC without having enough gigs of RAM or doing it in the Radeon app. So what you would do is right click on the Vega, you can hit disable, it's going to ask you do you want to disable it, yes. And you should hear a fan turn off, we're going to do all of them, so yes, and then we have one more. Once they're all disabled, you're going to re-enable them. I'm going to pull up the miner, so HBCC should be activated. Today I'm using Cast XMR miner. About 18 per card. We're going to look at the power usage. Ooh. How? How does that happen? 596, 612. I'm going to put 613. That's the highest reading I've seen. So 613. And I put 12 for this. Obviously, like my other videos, you can change it to higher or lower depending on your rates. It looks like profit per month is going to be $296. And that's only for three cards, which is pretty awesome. For a month, you're paying $53 of electricity for 2.79 Monero. And I'm going to change this to zero to see how much dollars in Monero that is. That's going to be $349 of Monero. So that's the easiest way to mine with the Vega 56s. You're building a basic Windows 10 computer, plugging in the cards, installing the drivers. All the steps that I showed you have nothing to do with power play, no BIOS modifications. I'm coming out with a video on the power play tables and then I'll be working on making a six card rig out of this. So I'm gonna stack this three card Vega rig next to the other one and try to wire it into this motherboard. Other than that, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, Feel free to leave a comment in the description below. Like the video if you liked it. And this is Moon Tort signing out.